Hey guys, welcome aboard. I'm Booger. This is an onion. <laughs> pretty large onion from Sam's Club. Comes in a bag of 10, 20 pounds, something like that. They're they're all pretty large like this. So that's you need a good, nice, big onion. Uh, I'm going to peel this up. I'm going to cut the top of this flat, just a flat part of this. And then, but this, leave that intact. I shaved, I gave it a little landscaping there. All right. So you're going to see if it works pretty good. Yes. All right. So let me peel that up and I'll show you how to slice it up. Ooh. Cut the tip off. All right. So you're going to go right to the end where the stem is. Okay. All the way down. And then go straight on the other side. All right. And then we're going to go in between those two. Like that. Straight across, okay? In those petals, you're going to cut uh, probably like three or four slits. It all depends on how big your onion is, okay? Do you want petals? So I did three. Now when you do that part, don't cut towards the cut, okay? You have a little gap there so it doesn't fall apart when you battery it up. All right, so let me finish this and I'll be right back. So there it is. Put it in a shallow bowl here. Where are you at? There you go. All right, separate the petals as best you can. All right. All right, here comes the fun part. I've got a cup of cold water, okay? I love this stuff so much, I got a big old jug of it. <laughs> I did a review on uh, fried chicken with this. It's Louisiana seasoned crispy chicken fry. I saw this at our grocery store on military base. It was like six bucks or something like that. A lot cheaper than the boxes. But yeah, so you're gonna need some of that. Now their technique for the fried chicken is a half a cup of cold water and uh, five tablespoons of that stuff. So I'm doubling this up because we're gonna need a lot of it. So I'm gonna need 10 tablespoons of this stuff in there. Yeah, I know, I'm telling you, it works. So let me mix that up, 10 tablespoons of that and a cup of cold water. And I'll be right back. Two things here. So here's my mix. Make sure there's no clumps and stuff in there. You can see the spices in there. It's, it's so good. Every time I film a video, somebody's messaging me. Okay, so we're gonna use the uh, flip and fry, Cajun flip and fry batter. I think it's gonna do well with the onion being the shape it is and the size and all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna use for that. So in this, <clears throat> I'm gonna, um, let me see. Do I want to put the onion on top or the bottom? I want to put the onion on top, right? So let me get some back. Let me tell you, it makes me sneeze. It's so powerful. All right, so I'm going to put a couple cups on the bottom. And then I'm going to put a couple cups on top as well. So if you get the boxes, get two boxes just in case. So that looks like a lot, but I may put some on top. I don't know. I'm not going to shake this vig vigorously. So there's that. All right. So I'm gonna put that in there, get ready to put my onion in there. And then I'll have to change the angles. I'm thinking about letting it sit in the fridge a little bit. I may do that too. Let's see how it goes, first of all. All right, I got one of these little plunger. So what do I call? Syringes for turkey baster? Baster, yeah. That thing. All right, here goes nothing. So let's put that on our, that's plenty. So let's just do this a little bit here, get in between the cracks. And when I did this the first time, I mentioned it at the end of the video. I'll put a link to that if you want to see that, uh, to use one of these to do this. And um, I'm thinking we're going to double dip this. And if you're more regular, you know what a double dip is. All right. So let me take this out of there carefully. That in there. Hope you can see. It. So one minute, one 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 woman show here. There's a good seal on that too. Shake it. Not too much. You might have enough batter. It's so tight until I Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna double dip it. So let me take it out again. Put it back in the bowl of juices. I'm trying to show y'all. 
do this again. It's a messy job, but we'll see if it works. If it works, this will be great. All right, put that back in there. Okay, so far we haven't lost any petals, so that's good. Let's check it out. I may put some on top, I'm not sure. It's looking better and better. It's looking really good. I'm, I'm going to put some batter on there. Let me, let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Just a little bit more. I should have saved some for the top. Let's see if it's sticky. Yeah, a little bit. All right, now I'm going to shake it again. The thing is that the liquid part kind of falls off, so you got to recoat it a couple of times. It's a process, but at least you don't have to waste like uh, five, six cups of grease, you know? All right, let me get the air fryer and uh, we'll get this going. All right, so we got the little beast out, which is the Rapid Crisp by DeLonghi. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna spray some olive oil on the bottom. Okay. And we're gonna put our onion in there. Okay, come to mama. There we go. Open that up. Everybody gets fried, loving. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Actually, it looks really good. Now, because it's close to the burner, the tips are gonna get dark, right? If you put it on full blast. So we're gonna lower the temperature, okay? Again, let me go wash my hands. So, oh, all that uh, dried stuff that I put on the bottom, like just do half and then put the half on top like I did. Like I didn't need all that on the bottom, all right? Here we go. I'm gonna spray the tops of this, but not quite yet. I don't like to spray things right yet because it's I have been trying to achieve a dry coating and I wanna keep it that way for a couple minutes, okay? But I will spray it with this uh, like five, 10 minutes in, okay? It's a light spray and it doesn't knock off all your batter and stuff. Open up now, come on. All right, I like the looks of it. Okay, so when you turn this on, it goes automatic to French fry setting. We want the chicken, right? So go to the chicken, and it's set at number three, which I kind of like. I'll let you know if I lower it. I'm gonna leave the time at 30 minutes. You can lower the time or whatever, but I'm gonna leave that alone as is and see what happens. The bottom's on, it's lit up, so we want that, okay? Turn it on. We'll be back, wish us luck. Let's get an update. There's 14 minutes left. I sprayed it at the eight minute mark, and I haven't changed temperature at all. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. We're gonna keep her going. Um, 14 minutes left, I think that'll be about right. <clears throat> now, here's what you could have done. You could have left it at the french fry setting, but really check to see if it's getting too dark on top first and lower the temp a notch, that's all you gotta do. But the chicken temperature works fine. It could be faster on french fry, I don't know, but I'm using the chicken. I don't know why I picked, I just didn't want it to be too hot. All right, so I'll see you when it's done. Okay, look at that, don't that, as my brother-in-law says. That's the only English he knows. <laughs> um, yeah, 30 minutes. I went the whole 30 minutes. You could have went a little bit less. It got a little bit dark on the outside edges there, but well, that's okay. I like the crunchy stuff. Here we go. There's that sauce we made. I'm digging it. So let's pull a petal off here if we can. Try it. Mmm. Oh boy. Golly, that's delicious. Come on, get to me. Dang, that's good. And it's spicy stuff, you guys. Just remember that. Mmm, that's delicious. I like the crunchy bits. I do. Yum. 
Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. Can you hear the crunch? You got crunchy. The batter is on the petals. It's not a thick batter, but you can taste the batter. I love it. Oh my God, the onion is good. Soft pillow, crunchy outside. What more is there? I think this is a winner. I think that turned out better than my first one. Well, you be the judge. It's a lot of work. The first one was a lot of work. This was less work, less messy work. I like it. So uh, with the uh, Louisiana chicken fry, they have regular that it's not seasoned. This seasoned stuff is very, it's a little spicy if you don't, if you can't do spicy. Okay, so make sure they have also a hot and spicy one. Yeah, that's up to you. That one is, uh, whew, I reviewed that one as well. But you guys, that's a winner. Doug, if you're watching, you need to try it this way. All right? Thanks for shouting, guys. Bye-bye.